So, Doug, I guess we are off to Coeur d'Alene. Well, I, I can't tell you. I, the, I mean, I can tell you that I'm mildly jealous, but, uh, <laughs> you know, it's going to be a, gr a great trip. Um, I, 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 I mean, it's fun to tour around the pattern, but I love going places. Yeah, and this one's got some challenges, too. I mean, right now, Coeur d'Alene's got light snow going on. There's a half inch of dry snow on the runway, which is no big deal. And, um, uh, they're, you know, they're still right at 33,000 feet and two and a half miles of visibility. It's supposed to be at 8,000 scattered by the time I get there. My alternates in going into there, if I can't get in for some reason, I'll go down a little bit south to um, either Pullman or Lewiston, Idaho, which okay. is just yeah. you know, know. 25 yeah. minutes south. Yeah. And then wait until I can sure. get in and then uh, go on up from there. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, I'm looking at all this stuff, and I know that this camera's not going to pick it up really well, but um, I'll do it with this guy. I'm Eric Reese. I sell real estate for a living, but I fly and instruct in the Aerostar for fun. Join us on our travel and training adventures in the world's fastest light piston twin. I mean, even look at look at the uh, the uh, flight director and the uh, artificial horizon. That's that's old school. That's oh, pretty that cool. Oh, that ball! It's an actual ball. I know. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yep. And then this little guy down here, as Jack says, that's a needle and ball. And he says you can get out of spin with that. Okay. Well, I'm not going to get into a spin. Yeah, let's so not let's, do let's, that. Let's not yeah. do that. <laughs> Don't spin a twin. No. I almost did that with my Seminole. I almost got that thing spinning. Boy, did that get my attention. Well, talk to uh, Dave Lunt about that. He was up with an instructor, and uh, his power wasn't coming up right. They were slow. He got into it. What happened was they were doing stalls, uh, did the stall recovery, and didn't keep the nose down. Got a secondary stall, and uh, because the power didn't come up evenly, they VMC rolled it. Oh, fuck. Yeah. And they recovered from that. Did they have enough altitude? Yeah, they well, were. Well, I mean, high. obviously, yeah. lots around to talk about it. Yeah, no, they did. So, um, uh, yeah, that was talk about pucker factor. <laughs> major pucker factor on that Holy one. Holy cow! But uh, anyway, so cool. All right, um, so it looks like you're ready to roll. I'll have fun. Oh, and Jack said he gave me these. These are special gloves that were given to him in the uh, Far East. I have to wear it like Michael Jackson. So it's on the left hand only, it's my flying glove. So it's got this real cool embroidery on it. And this one has got some You're more. You're all set. I'm all set. Along you with. You just don't look like him, that's along, all. Yeah, exactly. Along with uh, the good luck Eric on there. Oh, fun. <laughs> I don't think you'll need me luck. No. Nope. nice of him to say. But I still don't know, I mean, what am I supposed to do with all these round gauges? I have no idea how to work all that stuff. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and start up. I'll probably okay. let it sit here and warm up for a little bit. Yeah. And um, you can get on your way, whatever you want to do. Gotta, I'm just going to go and make sure everything is uh, ship shape in the okay. hangar, and then I'll head out. Maybe the props will be turning by then. But if not, I mean, take your time. Okay. Yeah. I'll even use the little checklist up here, which is kind of cool. So. Okay, the pre-flights compete. Uh, entry items are completed. Landing gear is uh, locked and down. Seats locked. Brakes are set. Controls free and correct. I'll do that here. I don't normally do it here, but I'll do it. Good. That's up, and the other one was up like I expected. So fuel and oil caps are on. I did check that. Oxygen. We've got it. Uh, we got uh, oxygen pressure. I don't have it turned on yet. Uh, ox hydraulic. I don't turn it on like uh, he does at this I point. Don't, I won't. I don't turn mine on until I'm ready to take the runway. Oh, I do it. Yeah, it's, it's well, a pre-takeoff check. It's a pre-takeoff check. I've actually got it in my checklist three times because it's a it's a kill switch. Okay. Because if you don't do it, it could kill you. Yeah. Okay. So there's it's after the engine started. Um, the only thing that I might do really quick is once I have the battery on, because um, I did purposely bring the pressure down, uh -huh. and this is out, out, outside of the checklist, but we'll just do that right now, Yep. and it works. Yep. So I we've just it. tested that. The next thing I'll do is I'll run the pressure down a little bit, and then when I start the right engine, the pressure will come up, and I will have checked both, both pumps. Cool. So that works quite well. Okay, back to my checklist. 
close the bottom door. I'll leave the other one open, which I usually do so that if somebody needs to yell at me, they can. So, boost pump on high. Crack that about an inch. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five. Down, crack the throttle, get the binding. There isn't really much of one in here. Should be right about there. All clear. Love it. All right, Eric. So you can tell Jack that I know how to start the airplane. <laughs> Have a good flight. Okay, thank you. Two, three, lock, lock, lock. That should be green, not red. But it's just the way he's got it labeled. Information India 1554 five, Zulu, wind 1804, visibility 10, one, few clouds 18,000, temperature 8, dew point minus 14, altitude 2962. Simultaneous visual approaches in use, flying on departing runway 17 left, runway 17 right, and runway 13. Low level wind shear visors in effect. Notice damage, multiple cranes north and northeast, out of below 126 feet. Pilot report 1530 Zulu, arriving runway 35 left, moderate turbines reported by Assessment 172. Advised line contact, do you have it? Yeah, clearance zero star two one delta with India South GA hangars IFR to Coeur d'Alene, ready to copy. Zero star two one delta clear to the Charlie Oscar Echo Airport via radar vectors to Falcon and as filed on departure fly runner heading maintain one zero thousand expect fly level two two zero and one zero minutes departure frequency is one two four point zero squawk one four zero one. 2-1 uh, Delta is uh, clear to the Coeur d'Alene Airport via radar vectors. Falcon then is filed, fly runway heading, climb maintain uh, 10,000, expect flight level 200, 10 minutes after departure, 124.0 and squawk 1401. Aerostar 2-1 Delta, read back is correct. Ground Aerostar 2-1 uh, Delta is at the South GA Hangars uh, Taxi IFR with India. So two and Delta Springs ground, running one seven right, taxi via Alpha. One seven right via Alpha, two and Delta. There's start two and Delta. I know you guys are going northbound, uh, eventually we'll be probably passing over the mountains, so just closer to Denver, but we did have a Cirrus uh, about ten minutes ago. A report severe turbulence at one three thousand to the west of the airport. And uh, some moderate turbulence up to the north by a Honda jet at one six thousand. Not surprising, one two and Delta. Get a warm winter day. Get turbulence. Air Star 2 1 Delta, traffic's in the upwind. They'll be turning right closed traffic at the departure end for runway 17 right clear for takeoff. 2 1 Delta clear for takeoff. Air Star 2 1 Delta additional traffic, 2 and a half miles. 2 1 Delta. Fast track 13, extend downwind. Extend downwind, fast track 13. Skyhawk 205, make right close traffic and extend down when you'll be following it. Copy, uh, we'll make right traffic, we'll extend it down Skyline 205. Baron 2 on November, runway 178 cleared to land, traffic departing, Aerostar. Clear to land 178, 3 to 1 November. Central aircraft, full level wind shear advisories in effect.
Air Star 2 on Delta, thanks for your patience. Contact departure. Have a good one. 2 on Delta, go to departure. All right. Out north of Denver, coming up on the Yami intersection. Now we'll make a left turn towards Laramie. Beautiful day out today. We're going to be on top of the clouds pretty much all the way. And this airplane holds a world speed record for both the 1,000-kilometer uh, out return and the 2,000-kilometer out return. 2,000 is 277 knots is the uh, record. And I am trued out right now at 60% power at 254 knots. That's true airspeed. Temperature's a little warmer than standards, about minus 10. And uh, we're at flight level 220, and I've got the uh, calculator set up on the airspeed indicator, which is kind of nice to be able to see that. Cruising right along here at uh, 220. I'm not sure what to make of these gauges. There's all kinds of them. They're all over the place. I have no idea what I'm looking at. What are those dials? Oh, that's EGT. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. That's cool. See them all at the same time. Charlie 5047, contact Salt Lake Center 124, or correction, 127.75, 27. All right, pay attention here, coming up on Yami, I'm kind of cutting it a little bit. Not being able to nav off the uh, GPS is different. November 21 Delta, clear direct destination. 21 Delta, clear direct quarter lane. There's Coeur d'Alene in here, hit direct, enter, verified it, it says Coeur d'Alene direct bearing 305, let's punch it in over here, 305 right there, set that at 305, we're not going to Laramie anymore, we'll go ahead. Alright, we are about an hour and 20 minutes out of Coeur d'Alene, and uh, the weather is still kind of down here, but that's uh, about 20 minutes, 28 minutes old. So they're showing a uh, mile and a half in light snow, and I think the uh, overcast is 1,900 feet. And that's below what I want to do with this airplane. So I checked Lewiston. Lewiston's showing about 8,000, um, which is fine. They've got an ILS in there. So as we get closer, and uh, the weather doesn't come up, which I actually expected to do so, then I'm going to go ahead and uh, divert, go down to Lewiston, land there, and wait for the uh, low vis and uh, low ceilings to uh, clear out of Coeur d'Alene. Air Star 2 on Delta, we're going to maintain 7,000. 7,000 for uh, 2 on Delta. Start 2 on Delta, turn right heading 320. Right heading 320, 2 on Delta. Okay, we got ourselves slowed down a little bit. Flaps are at uh, 20. They're still up, speed's fine. They're going to get us down a little bit lower. And on that one, I might drop some uh, spoilers since I've got them. That will help out. Barrel start 2 on Delta, but that means in 6,000. Go out of 6,000, 2 on Delta. Delta, you're one zero miles from the seaput. Turn right heading 025 and maintain 6000 until established on the localizer. Cleared ILS from a 6 approach, Fort Lane. 025 and heading, maintain 6500 till established, or uh, 6000 till established, quickly approach. Air 
Sierra Star 2, on Delta, I apologize. I don't know why. Did you say you were in the clear now? Yeah, I'm in the clear now. I don't have the runway yet. Sierra Star 2, on Delta, thanks. Three in the green. Props going. Hazardous weather information, Airmet Sierra for IFR mountain obscuration, Tango for turbulence for the Spokane and the surrounding areas, information available on flight service frequencies. Thank you.